What up, what up? It's your boy AD, and that's all day. And today I'm gonna make a quick mix have video about how most women spend their money or how they spend their money. I guess since I'm Mr. Money AD, I guess I should talk about how they spend their money. And to be honest, it's pretty sad to me how how most women do spend their money. Like the reason why I say it's sad is because it's like almost every woman that I've seen or met. Ooh, they all spend their money the same type of way. Like, yeah, they may not spend it on the same type of things or the same exact things or maybe not in the same way, but their beliefs and their focus of what they like to spend their money on is just out of control. Like, it's like most women you meet, here's, this got to be the number one problem to me. Don't save their money. Like, I mean, we live in a tough world, right, where it's not that easy to always have what you want, what, you know, to get things. Like, let's be honest, a lot of good things and things you need are expensive, like a home, a car, you know, each two, even buying food can get expensive, you know. So you need to save your money because everybody doesn't have a good job. Everybody doesn't have an inheritance or family support. But for some odd reason, women never do that. It's like they, yeah, they, yeah, a lot of women, they'll get a job. You know what I'm saying? But all that money they get, getting, it's pretty much spent. I mean, I've seen women who are in messed up situations who really should be trying to do better and get more money for themselves, who will still spend on things that they don't need and just blow it and just don't save it. And just act as if it's okay to be in a messed up situation. Like I don't, I don't see a lot of ambitious women in my life who want to get money to have a great settlement. It's like, it's like, I, it's like instead of seeing a, a a a woman who's trying to be ambitious to have a good foundation, you will see an ambitious woman who wants to get money to compete with others. Like if you see an ambitious chick and she acts like she want to get money and work and this and that, nine times out of ten, it's not really for a foundation. It's like with a lot of these chicks, they just get it to show out and just act like they're better than people, which still never really leads them to have a lot of money. Because, I mean, money isn't everything, but it should be a goal in your life to at least be, you know, have a good amount of money to where you can be comfortable, you know, or where you can be off of work. Something happen or if something go wrong, you can take care of it. You know, you remember that one saying, how it's always good, you know, save some money for a rainy day. Well, a lot of women don't do that. You know, a lot of women are broke right now, but they just getting by because they can easily get dudes to handle things or got family members to handle things. Because once they once they have a lot of them, once they have a baby, boom, here go everybody handing them stuff. That's another reason why they spend money so much and don't save because even though they never really uh, accumulate a big, huge amount of money. It's like they still, you know, they still just think they're OK because they they'll get it more a little quicker and easier. But they don't save, you know, some of them, some things in my life I probably would have never had. if I would have never saved my money. So that's something to think about women like women want to act like they this and that what they do, but they don't save it. And if they do save some money up nine times out of ten, it's going to be towards something they don't need. Like, they ain't going to save up no money for it to invest in something and really do it right. Nope. They're going to spend that money on a trip or something. Especially with all the brainwashing going on in media now and basically encouraging women to go on trips when they, when they know darn well these women need to be. Since y'all, you know, a lot of women are not acting like they don't care about men no more. So that means you really need to get on your dollars. Women are very materialistic. That's number two. Like a lot of women that I know just will never buy anything to try to get more. You know, sometimes you got to make sacrifices. You know, sometimes you got to settle for less to get more in the future. Women don't do that. It's like if they got in their pocket, they're going to spend it. And, 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 and be honest, most of the time they're trying to spend more than you or they're trying to uh, buy the most expensive stuff to act like they're better than what they're not. Because in my honest opinion, I feel like a lot of women do that with their money because a lot of women don't really work on themselves and, and don't really think anything is wrong with them. So a lot of them will buy expensive things and blow dough to try to impress you like that now. 
which is sad because now it's starting to head towards this level now where a woman, you know, you'll see a woman come out sad. She look all messed up or something like that. You look at her like, dang, she, she, dang, did she even get herself together today? But she hopping in a car, a lease car or something that she blew all her money on that she really can't afford. That's what it's coming down to now. You know, women be a lot of times the main ones to spend money on things they just don't need or things that won't value. You know, a lot of women will have things they already got and still be buying. Like, you don't, you already got this stuff. Oh, I'm just going buy it. You know, even though I already have this at home or even though I have this, that's something else women like to do. And they don't like to help people that really need it, and they don't like to help men. So that's another problem that women got with money. They don't really, I never really see them help people that really need money. Most of the time, they help people who don't need it, who's just trying to take advantage of them, or they help, or they don't help men. And that's another problem, too, because I feel like if you can help a man, sometimes a man can help you back. You know, you help a man, a man get some money, he can help you back. They don't want to do that. They just already expect a man to have it for them. Why they sit back and blow all their dollars and never really accumulate much. It's like when it comes to women and their money, like I said, it's like as far as you'll see them go, man, is a is a, a okay home and a lease car. That's like as far as you see them go a lot of times. A okay car and a lease car. I mean a okay right, a lease car and a okay home. And then I'm just saying that's that's if a chick actually get far. You know, a lot of these ticks are older now. The older ones, they know how badly they blew their money. Because a lot of older ones are staying with their mother or their family members or their kids nowadays. Because they, cause they didn't save their money. They didn't do nothing. You know, I look around and it's the truth. I don't really see women out here with a lot of money. I just see a whole bunch of women acting like they got something and they lease cars in their handouts, but not really getting big homes on their own not having big dollars on their own, not making big moves. Nope, I don't see nothing really big happening. I mean big. I'm talking about some racks on racks on racks. I don't see none of that. I, all I see is phoniness, really, to make them look like they got something, they doing something, when most of them don't even want to be working. They just hope somebody gives them something for free so they can go back to spending more money. You know, it's a fact that women spend more money into the, into the, you know, the consumer market than men. It's a fact. I've seen women who, like I said, are broke, who really don't got it that good. And I know they don't. And they'll still blow their money whenever they get it instead of saving and, and actually blow it on stuff that, I mean, will not benefit them one single bit. And they'll be sitting there, life getting worse and worse, and they don't give a damn. They just still gonna spend their money as soon as they get it. They don't. They don't save nothing. It's sad how they don't save. And like I said, if you ever see them save, best believe it's towards something that's gonna be dumb, and it ain't even gonna be no huge amount of money. If you ever see a chick acting like she got big dollars, what do helped her? You know what she do? You know. Most of the time, it's pretty much what it is. You know, a lot of these women got kids now, which is messed up because y'all ain't got no money. And y'all ain't trying to get no money. And a lot of y'all, you know, they want to go to work, like I said, but they not saving nothing. They not, they not doing it. They, they digging themselves a hole when it comes to their money, if you ask me. Because that's what this video is about. It's like, what do y'all do with y'all money? You know, y'all know y'all just like to spend it. Be the main ones going to trips, main ones going out to blow money at the darn food places, main ones blowing money on clothes and things to improve your looks. You know, the main ones who don't invest is, uh, I mean, just hey, don't invest nothing. Don't just keep going to your job thinking you're okay, knowing you're probably alone and don't even have any real friends and your money is low. And, and the only probably reason you even getting to work is because you got a lease car you can't really afford that you got to hold on to with a job and or you got a handout from a family that worked hard and did more than you did. But they giving it to you because they think you deserve it when you don't. 
And that's why things are getting worse and worse for these women. Because, again, and then with men, and then here, I'm going to end it with this. And not only are they spending all their money and terrible with their money, but what man is going with a woman who's broke? I mean, don't get me wrong. Most men aren't that. Like, like we really, like, oh, my gosh, you got to be a baller. Like, most men aren't like that. But at least bring some type of dollar, some type of income to the table. You know, why would a dude want you if you ain't got no money? Like, nothing to offer towards nothing. But you study spending on yourself and you and goofy things you don't even need. But you'll come to a dude or not even, shoot, it might not even be a dude. It could be other friends and girls that they know and just come to them broke. Something to think, something for these ladies to think about. Because I already know most of y'all don't save any money. I already know y'all know. I already know y'all don't. And y'all might think it, but y'all ain't doing it. Y'all, most of them got too many spending habits. Most of them can't even go a week without having to blow something on something. Uh, most of them can't even just sit at home and just be chill for a day and stack your dough and just chill out for a week or something. Just do what you need to do. Nope, they got to go somewhere and spend on something, especially if they got that lease car. They really got to go out somewhere and spend on something, knowing they already can't afford it. Like they really got $20,000 and can walk in somewhere and drop it on somebody. Yeah, right. Holla at y'all later. Peace out.